Thursday morning, November uh, 2nd. Tuesday was Halloween. Yeah, it's so November 2nd. Gosh, I've got to get better at that. Um, it's kind of, um, let's see, overcast outside. We're getting ready for a big rainstorm. I'm sitting here at the work desk of my art room, the business, business desk, um, getting ready to log on and get some stuff done this today. My friend Cindy Utter, Peg Robinson, and Shell C are going to be having a live bro broadcast I want to watch while I'm editing or at least listen to while I'm editing video and that sort of thing. So, And I'm working on my third cup of coffee because it's just one of those kind of days. So yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys. I spent most of the morning working on business stuff in the art room and edit actually editing video. I spent a lot of time editing video. Um, and chatting with my art friends while I was doing it, dealing with some business stuff. <laughs> Again, more business stuff. So, um, anyway, why is there doors not closed all the way? Hold on. There we go. Um, yeah, just more business stuff. It's not good stuff. Anyway, I appreciate all of you who have been supporting me and my efforts to bring free content and my art by shopping in my Etsy shop, contributing to the tip jar, um, shopping on my wish Amazon wish list. I love that. Thank you. Um, for those of you who want to, uh, click on the Linktree link in the description below and it's down there. Um, they All the links for everything are there. My gas light just came on. I better go get gas first thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's just, anyway, there are th some things I have to find solutions to. I have some friends who are helping me, um, but I don't think it's going to be an easy fix. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a break from the computer and try to figure it out and fix it. I'm going to put gas in my car first, then I'm going to go to the grocery store, then I'm going to pick up my mail and drop off a couple of things that have to be shipped out. Um, one of them is an order that someone placed, and I am sending them a big box of Happy Mail in addition to what they ordered. Um, and I have two more boxes I could maybe do that with, so I might be doing that. So if you shop in the store, you never know. You might get just what you ordered, but you might get some extra stuff. Anyway, that's it for right now. I don't have anything else to talk about right this moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Friday, November 3rd, and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I am going to go order the pizza for t dinner tonight. It's a take and you bake it at home kind of pizza. So Papa Murphy's, which I've mentioned before. Um, and that reminds me, I think I forgot to put all the links in the vlog for that I just posted live last night. I better do that when I get home. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to pick that up. I also have to make a bunch of photocopies at Staples and I need some more spiral bound notebooks uh, for an for myself for something I'm doing. But also I'm going to share what I'm doing on YouTube. So the video for that's going to be coming soon. Anyway, yeah, so and we've. Yeah, it's it's been a funny morning again. I you know I don't know. We had the furnace guy out to service the system, and um, they're going to be back in a couple weeks. We have it's way past time for us to have the whole thing cleaned. We're going to have the duct work cleaned, the whole thing disinfected, which is better for my asthma. And I either have to leave the house or make sure I've got a mask on the day that they come and all that stuff. So anyway, I feel like I need more coffee. All right, I'll be back. All righty, that took about 45 minutes and I just spent another five minutes talking to you all, only the camera wasn't on, because you know. <laughs> I walked into Staples after ordering the pizza and none of the copy machines were working. It's just gonna be one of those kind of days, I think. <laughs> hey guys, anyway. it is Saturday morning, November 4th. And you know, the husband and I don't have any pressing engagements or appointments. You know, there's always a chores of a list of chores around here that need doing. 
or as my husband calls it, the honey-do list, but a lot of them involve going outside and doing things outside the house, and it's kind of gross weather out, so we decided to just take off for the day and go for a drive. So that's what we're gonna do. I did wanna show you all the puzzle we got done last night. We got this one done with the kids. Really cute puzzle. A uh, nostalgic scene with old cars and trains and stuff, so it was pretty cool. And uh, of course had our standard family meal together around the table while doing the puzzle, which seems to be our new normal. The dog is outside doing his thing and we're getting ready to go and we're gonna we're gonna go for a drive and I'll try to catch any funny, interesting things the husband says on video, because you know. I don't say anything funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does, I know y'all I know he does, and y'all like it, so all right, I'll be back. Like World War II, I think. It's been oh, here more, one, longer than I've been alive. Yeah. And it fell over in the storms? Yeah, it broke apart in the storms that we had last year. Yeah. And it rolled, the front end rolled over. We haven't actually been to see the ship since it did break apart and roll over. So this is a new site, but there you go. So here we are in Capitola at the beach down the street from Zelda's restaurant, which is that way. They're having a big art fair here tomorrow, which I wasn't aware of, because otherwise we should have come tomorrow. But I've seen how many? Four or five? Four or five. Four or five, somewhere in there. Artists doing on plain air. There are a couple of oil uh, artists, a couple of pastel artists. Um, one that was too far out to the beach, we didn't want to get sandy. Uh, but there's one or two people out there doing drawing or something. And there's another one up ahead here. So. That's pretty cool. I've never seen so many people doing that within a short space. So, bravo to them for doing it out in public. I think that's wonderful. Anyway, all right, we're gonna keep walking and getting steps in because I had a giant bowl of clam chowder and now I need to go work that off. All right, I'll be back. Capitola. That was so fabulous to see so many artists out doing their 
um, work in public. I love that. It makes me want to ask for one of those on plein air kits for Christmas. I don't think I'm going to, but it makes me want to ask. There was one more that we didn't get on camera um, that was closer to the restaurant where we had lunch. Um, and there's probably more. Those are just the ones we saw while we were walking. We're leaving now and we're going to drive north. Are we going north? Yep. We're going to go north. We're going to go north. We don't know where we're going next, but we're going north. We'll be back. I talked Hubby into stopping at one of my favorite places for art supplies. There's two locations, one in Santa Cruz and this one in Capitola, a palace art and office supply. Yep, we're going to go look around. be proud of me. I got to walk in and look around and get my art store fix without actually buying anything because I don't really need anything. Although I was tempted by a couple of things like those little black paper journals, but I don't need them. Anyway, we'll be back.
guys. Happy Sunday morning. It is Sunday, November 5th. And I am headed out to go run a couple of errands really quick. The husband is off to a football game. I think football. <laughs> With some of his friends. You know, I, I don't do sports, so I don't know. Um, you're lucky I get on the treadmill. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I think they're at a 49er game, to be honest. Uh, San Francisco 49ers, American football for those who don't know. Um, so while they're gone, he's going to be gone most of the day. So I have the day to myself. I'm going to be coming back here and trying to catch up on um, the things that I remember that were on my to-do list, which is now missing. I don't know what I did with said to-do list. I'm. It's either stuffed in my planner somewhere and I can't find it or it's I accidentally threw it away. I don't know. So I don't know. So I'm going to go run some errands really quick and then I'm going to try to catch them up on some things that I know were on the list and remember the other things that I don't know were on the list. I don't remember. I do think there were other things than what I'm remembering, but I don't know what they are. All right, so that's it right now. I'm gonna head off to Target and a couple other places. I'll be back. You know, my husband did all the driving yesterday, so I guess the first thing I need to do is adjust the seat because I can't reach the pedals at all. <laughs> it's probably a good idea if I can reach not only the gas, but the brake pedal. <laughs> Don't you think? I think. Target on Sunday. Oh, joy. <laughs> time I got up to the registers there was much less of a line of people waiting to check out and I was undercounting how many people were in line by a good 30 people 35 people at least they opened a lot more registers by the time I got up there almost all of them were open but then once you get checked out then it's like a maze trying to get out in between all the people it was like it was Black Friday or something <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah, crazy. Anyway, in the midst of all that, they're trying to set up all of their um, displays, merchandise, all their displays for Christmas. So you've got merchandisers out there putting out this stuff and resetting the displays and amongst the craziness. Yeah, it was insane. This is why I don't go on Sunday, <laughs> especially Sunday over the holidays. Yeah, I'll be back. So oh, I am puppy sitting again while the kids go out and run errands and stuff. And I guess that's Lily's new favorite place to sit when she's outside. Because I seem to catch her sitting there a lot. <laughs> she's like a toddler on speed. <laughs> she's just... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think she likes her new toys. What do you think? Holy moly. My god, you guys, did you give her sugar or something? Is there a puppy? Oh, <laughs> equivalent for sugar? Yes. What? Ow, what? Oh, no, no biting. No, no biting. No biting. No, you can't have the remote control. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good Monday morning, everyone. <laughs> Maybe, I guess. I am out and about. It is early. <laughs> not so early that it's not dark outside yet, but because uh, it is already light out, but it's early. It's not even, it's not, it's well, it's well before 8 a.m. But I am headed to go get the oil changed in my car and the tires rotated and then I've got to go get an x-ray on my shoulder that's bothering me, this one that I hurt when I fell. And I need to run a couple of other miscellaneous errands. So it's best if I get an early start. I am taking the back way to 
the dealership because I get my car serviced at the dealership. I'm taking the back way because it is early in the morning and it's still in, it's like smack dab in the middle of the morning rush hour. And, uh, or I say, I should say rush three hours. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot longer to get there on the freeway than it will. If I just go the back way, it's fine. I'm hoping to get a little bit of art done today. Uh, I did get caught up on a few things and I have sort of recreated my to-do list. I still think I'm forgetting something and I don't know what it is. I In 1,000 feet, oh, turn right. So there's ways for you. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Okay, to my surprise, the mail was at least part sorted and I did have some mail, so yay. So of course we have some things with windows for my husband, which, you know, he doesn't like. And by the way, that's what we call bills, things with windows. Um, and I got some more inventory in for my rubber stamp line. So some designs I was out of that I was having to have drop shipped from the factory all the time every time somebody ordered it, which is fine, I can continue to do that. Um, and I, I may continue to do that for some things, but um, it's easier to carry some in stock. So. Anyway, all right. We're gonna go home now, because my arm is sore, and I need to put some heat on it, because yeah. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Hey everybody, let me move away from the window because holy cow, that lighting was bad. As you can tell, I just got out of the shower. Although it is Tuesday, November 7th, it's about, it's after 2 o'clock. 2, 15, 2, 30, somewhere like that. Anyway, I spent the morning getting on the treadmill, as you just saw, um, chatting with uh, my online friends. And while I was doing that, I was packaging up some stuff that had to go out to different people and I'm packaging up, getting some product ready for Etsy and getting that listing created, which is all done. So the store has new items in it. Go check it out. The, li the link for the Etsy shops are below. Um, <laughs> um, I also got some good news. So we had a product uh, manufacturing problem and that's been solved. Yay! Uh, it was a big problem. So that's been solved. Um, looks like um, a solution or a settlement to my workman's comp case is in process. So cross your fingers, it all goes smoothly. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, those are two seem like little, th they're not little things. They seem may seem like it, they're big things. And I'm glad to get them on the road to solutions and start off 2018 on a good note. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna go get the mail. I already ate my lunch while I was chatting with people online. And I am going to sit this afternoon, I think, and work on some new um, designs for rubber stamps for 2018, which I started working on already. I've got quite a library of designs, but there are a few more in my head um, that I want to create uh, before we I go forward with um, the next steps with Rubber Moon, who is my manufacturer. If you don't know who they are, I will link them in the description below. Um, they have their own website with their own stamps that they sell through their website. Um, so I would definitely go recommend checking them out because they've got some really cute stuff. Um, and no, mine is not listed there. Mine is only at my Etsy shop for the moment. So um, I think that's it for right now. I'm going to go do my stuff and do what I need to do. I'll be back. Okay, so I've spent the good part of the day, as I said earlier, on uh, the internet chatting with friends and catching up on... Um, shipments and I got them all shipped. I decided to, before the day ends and I have to worry about cooking dinner or anything, to um, get a journal page done. So that's it there. I'm going to be sharing it on social media later tonight. So some of you will have already seen this when the vlog comes out. This design here, um, which I did take a picture of the actual stencil on the journal page, um, is one of my new stencils for 2018. So woohoo! Um, and, um, I love the way this page turned out. I didn't even know I had these tags. I found them in a box of stuff I was cleaning today. 
um, and I'm working on a modification of this old, I want to say Franklin Covey day planner. Franklin, yeah, it's an old Franklin Covey planner. And um, I took the binder rings out, and then of course I had to patch the hole in the spine. So I've got uh, obviously a bunch of stuff sitting on that spine to keep good contact on the piece of vinyl that I used to repair the hole. It is a piece of Shannon Green's um, repurposed vinyl billboard fabric that she sells in her Etsy shop. And then I was done with all of that. Wait, I dropped a rag on the floor, see? Um, fun fact, I rarely use paper towels in my art room. I use rags. Uh, so then I was done with that. I thought, well, it was well past time for me to clean out my brushes and my water dish because it was disgusting. So I did, and I'm going to cover the camera real quick here so I don't make you all sick. Um, as I turn around, we're going to go down my dark hallway out into the garage sink. And I got everything cleaned and it's lined up here by the door where it always is when I'm done cleaning because the sink is right here. And <laughs> so I went to go clean everything and I found this brush that wasn't quite in the water all the way. So you ready? <laughs> I think you probably could pound nails with it. So I'm going to put it in this little cup here. And I'm going to fill the little cup um, up to the ferrule, the, which is the metal part, um, with pure Murphy's oil soap. We're going to leave it sitting there overnight, and we will see what happens in the morning if I'm able to get it clean. Um, I'm hoping that I can do it here in the vlog, but it might be, take a couple of days, so it might. The, <laughs> the hard, crusty brush, brush adventure may overflow into next week's vlog, so we'll find out tomorrow. So that's the end of my Tuesday. I will be back in the morning. Have a good evening, everybody. All right, guys. So here's the inside of my icky garage sink. And this is the brush from yesterday that I couldn't even get the bristles to bend. Um, today it's bendable, at least. It's less likely to be able to pound nails. It's still kind of stiff. Normally I would let this sit and soak in here for a couple of days, but we're gonna see if we can get it clean. I'm gonna lay the brush down on the bottom of the sink and I'm gonna use my palette knife to try to scrape the paint off, maybe. Some of it's coming off. I really don't think it's sat long enough I think we're gonna have to work on this in next week's vlog, and I'm gonna—I think I'm gonna have to let it sit for a couple of days. Yeah, because it's—it is not. Yep, yeah, it's still pretty crusty. It's better, and that's only after one day. I can at least move the bristles. Okay, so we're gonna have to continue the saga of the crusty brush next week. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it sit until at least Friday. It's Wednesday evening right now, and then try it again. So join me again for next week's vlog and we will continue the saga of the crusty brush. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links um, that I spoke of this week. And uh, the, and the, of course, um, you know, if you want to or can support my channel on the free art content, not only here on YouTube, but on Facebook uh, by donating to the tip jar or uh, shopping on my Amazon wish list. Uh, there is links in the description below. There's one link down there that says link tree slash Gina B. Aarons. If you go to that link, you're gonna find every single place you can find me on the internet. All my links are there. So anyway, check out that video description before you leave. Don't forget the most important thing, go out and have a great day, do something nice for yourself and because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.